Bring in former Labor Secretary nominee Andy Puster. Andy, when you listen to these workers, you feel for them because we've got nearly 17 percent inflation under Biden. Real wages are, have been trending down after inflation. And you know, now, Andy, now strikes may break out in the airlines. You're talking American Airlines, Alaska, and United. That There's strike threats before the holidays. Workers are striking at a pace not seen nearly a quarter century, Andy. Well, you do have the, uh, the self-proclaimed most pro-union president in American history sitting in office. I think the real problem here is that inflation is hitting, hitting these workers' pocketbooks uh, more strenuously than at any time since the 19, early 1980s. Uh, they just can't afford to buy what they used to buy. Now, they, I will say the big three automakers are offering, I mean, their, their start is a 20% increase in pay, which even with, uh, with uh, inflation at about 17% since Biden took office, 20%, you know, that's not peanuts. That's a pretty good offer. I think a lot of people would be happy with that kind of offer. They want 40%. And they want reduced hours, but I, I'm sympathetic for, to their need to uh, to get higher wages. But I think the uh, automakers are offering higher wages. So you know, what is this going to do to prices overall, right? Because we had UPS warded off a strike with a big labor increases in compensation. Uh, you know, we understand that they're making more electric cars because of the White House electric mandates. Those electric cars require 40 percent fewer. Uh, workers, but you know th what they're asking for is more than doubling the labor compensation costs for UAW plants versus what you see at Tesla or non-unionized plants. Well, it's going to have a real impact on these uh, on these unionized automakers, which is why a lot of the automakers have moved to the southern United States, uh, where they can go to right-to-work states and they don't have to deal with the UAW, particularly over the past. 10, 15 years, the UAW has been uh, really plagued by uh, by corruption. They've had two UAW presidents who actually went to jail. So th it's been a real mess for the UAW. And, and th this this strike, this is uh, this is life or death for these unions. And th the problem is, I think at the heart of this, they're aiming at the wrong target. I don't think their enemy here uh, are the big three automakers. They're they're willing to make concessions. They want to work with them. I think their enemy is the Biden administration, these climate alarmists, the Democratic Party, that are pushing these electric vehicles on the American people. There's really not much demand for electric vehicles, but the administration's pushing it as hard as they can. And as you said, it takes 40% fewer workers. So a big point in this strike is to get the, manu the, the workers who produce the electric vehicles to get them with, under the union contracts. Uh, so that the union can survive and move forward. The UAW has got real problems. And uh, this, this, as I said, this is life or death for them. Yeah, and they have yet to endorse President Biden. They haven't done that yet. Well, they, and, you know, they you, shouldn't. You see he's these... the guy, look, he's the guy pushing these electric vehicles. Yeah, they and you got, them. But, they the blue, should... but the blue-collar worker could vote, go for Trump. That's an issue. I mean, well, I'm yeah. just looking at inventory levels, the data coming in for electric vehicles. The, they're... On, they're doubling. The inventory sitting on lots has been doubling uh, since the start of the year. People are not buying electric cars. Andy Puzder, thank you so much. It's good to have you on.